thinking about the division algorithm for polynomials and really trying to understand why it works, uh, it's best to think about how division works uh, with regular numbers. So imagine I wanted to divide 267 by 11. And if we think about it, what we're asking is, how many times will 11 go into 267? So let's just go ahead and do that. And in the back of our minds, let's remember that when we're all said and done, we should have some number which we can multiply by 11 and get 267. Okay, right? Because that's essentially what we're asking. So if I begin, 11 will go into 26 twice. 2 times 11. And then 4, 44. And you'll notice I have a remainder of 3. And what does that mean? Well, that means that if I were to multiply 24 by 11, what would I get? I want you to think about that real quick. Well, I should get 264. Why is that? Because whatever's left over is going to be 3. So I can't multiply 11 by 24 to get 267. I've got to multiply it by something a little more than 24. That's because the true number of times that 11 goes into 24 is 24 and 3 elevenths. Right? So what I'm really doing is I'm multiplying 24 and 3 elevenths by 11. 24 and 3 elevenths. Think about what that means. That means you're taking 11, multiplying it by 24, and then adding 11 times 3 elevenths. Why is that? Because 24 and 3 elevenths is saying 24 plus 3 elevenths. And that is going to be 267. And we can see that because 11 times 24 is going to be 264, and then 11 times 3 elevenths, well, the elevenths will cancel, and I'll be left with 3, which is going to give me 267. All right, let's take this to our division algorithm with polynomials. So if I want to divide 3x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 3 by x plus 2, let's first think about what that means. Well, that means that I want to know how many times x plus 2 will go into this larger polynomial. But that's kind of hard to think about because these aren't you know, regular numbers that we're used to really putting a numerical value on. So it might be easier to think about it in terms of how division and multiplication are related. So if I want to take x plus 2 and divide it into this larger polynomial, what I'm really asking is what number or what, sorry, what polynomial can I multiply, let me just write this out, what number can I multiply x plus 2 by so that I end up getting my original polynomial? When I divide, I'm trying to figure out what that value is. So let's go ahead and start dividing. 3x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 3x plus 3. Go ahead and move this out of the way. Divided by x plus 2. All right, 